So maybe we could start by explaining the title of this movie. What's the Adjustment Bureau? Well, the Adjustment Bureau is uh, fate, essentially. Um, the concept, original concept in the Philip K. Dick story, which was the Adjustment Team, is that uh, when we get a little off our path, uh, where we're supposed to be, when we're not heading down our fate path, uh, men come out and push us back on. And uh, I just changed it to Adjustment Bureau to enlarge the concept a little more. Um, so when did you read the original novel and what made you think about turning it into a movie? Uh, short story, uh, and I, I, my, my producing partner brought it to me about eight years ago um, and uh, said, what about doing this uh, as a love story? Because the, the short story is really just a guy who sees behind the curtain and sees that fate is a group of people. They're not wearing hats in the short story. but um, and, uh, and then he goes on the run. <clears throat> and uh, right away from, from hearing that pitch, uh, that concept of a personified fate, um, and thinking about doing it as a love story, what's at stake is can this guy be with the, the, the woman that he loves, um, I thought, I really want to do this. Uh, just took a long time to get there. Who styles the Adjustment Bureau? Because they do have a pretty cool style going on. Um, well, the, the idea for uh, having them be in suits and hats is, is basically uh, uh, that Matt's character as a politician is going to often be in a suit and they need to sort of blend in the background. What the hats were saying is essentially uh, there needs to be some way for us to visually pick out of a crowd who's in the adjustment bureau and who isn't, but they also have to feel like they could fit into a crowd. So that's that's where that came from. And my awesome costume designer, uh, Kasia Lalika, did the uh, did the costumes. Because they kind of have like a madman look going on, right? Well, they're what we ex explicitly did not want to do a particular age, so they're not really suits from the 40s or 50s or 60s. It's a uh, it's a blend. That was that was the idea. Um, what's it, what's your relationship with Matt Damon? You worked with him many times. Um, can you can you talk a little bit about the process of of casting him and, and having him in the movie? Yeah, it's pretty simple. Um, I, I asked him to read a, a script that I had, my sort of first draft script. I said, it's not quite there yet. I don't think the, the character's there that you'd be playing, but would you be interested in being a romantic lead um, and working in a concept that was very fantastical? Because Matt tends to do very grounded, very realistic, naturalistic um, characters. Um, and he hasn't really done a, a, a romantic lead. Uh, so. He looked at the material and he said, yes, I'm interested. There's some things that we should talk about. I agree with you, the character isn't quite there yet. We had some conversations about it, and uh, when I found the next big block of four months of time, I rewrote the script, gave it back to him. He said he was interested, and here we are. Uh -huh.